What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. So, Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge is dropping on OTS shelves tomorrow. And then you're going to see on Friday, general stores get it in hand. That means people have gotten their hands on product early and have started ripping it on open. And just with whispers in the wind of case ratios and pulls, you see complete sellouts on site. So let's turn those whispers into a shout and give everybody the information on what is being pulled where and how, including seven cases from Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Market on TCG Player. But first, since we've sold out of a lot of cards here with What's Good 5, why not drop What's Good 10 over at Zero Damage Gaming with a new wholesome gnome material map. Really good design, and since a lot of different cloth mat companies have different feels on their mats, they put up a in-depth video to show you what to expect with their cloth mat and i don't know who this witch is but she's a mommy if you're looking at picking her up too i know they do a lot of card fight vanguard uh things but if you're not interested in cloth mats they do have a rubber version and with the 10 percent off of what's good 10 that's near 40 dollars. and they still have snack they still have bun they are not going to retire they're really cool rubber mat designs but the cloth mat is always as always a limited time playmat and i guess the mommy is a limited time playmat huh interesting anyways let's go ahead and get into what you came here for and that's some case ratios so we have lord trent on youtube actually dropping an entire hour long case opening so that you can document every pull he only gets one boral sword i'm hearing entire cases without boral swords as well and then some have around three the average ends up about being two per case that's one out of every six boxes that's absurd and because of that you are seeing prices just completely spike on boral sword over on tcg player versus what they were at they were down towards 25 dollars, and now sellers are really holding on on ebay back up towards 30 dollars. it's it's pretty crazy when you're actually looking through here and and seeing these prices but back into his polls we see that engage and widow anchor are shorted and then among the ultra rares actually Actually, summon limit and max seem to be shorter than most as well the bls link very shorter than his pulls trap trick sarah the utop the utopia xc's that used to be a prize card is also shorted just so many cards it's actually insane so you get one secret rare per pack and a bunch of ultras seeing ultras like max just so low pulled is actually pretty mind-blowing as well although most people you know it's a very specific deck may not be hunting that down if you are i feel bad for you now let's get into seven cases of this bad boy from Yu-Gi-Oh! black market on tcg player it's a common name a top rated seller putting his own name out there and he did send me some pictures of his original cases boral sword 15 out of seven cases that is a lot of boxes so your average per case that's 12 boxes is around two for boral sword all mirage is around five so that's not even every other box out of a case so if you're buying boxes you don't even have a 50 50 of pulling all mirage the same with trap trick sarah at 5.5 per case the bls link at three per case being among the lowest and one of the highest demand cards a link frames pack import into this set this is something I might consider sooner than later. Lambda is around five per case. Engage and Widow Anchor both sitting in that five range. And then Kaiser is actually at two. Now, I wouldn't worry as much about Utopia Kaiser. We've seen prize cards in the past, even in demand ones like Minerva from Battles of Legend not really have that high demand. And while they weren't shorter printed, Master Rule for kind of murdered what utopia kaiser is supposed to do and i don't think it'll be in super demand in terms of pricing now again the link monsters magical musketeer max 10 per case is still a pretty good number right but the fact that it's not guaranteed even in a box when it's an ultra rare along with summon limit you know it's skipping a box in the uh, in his average cases it just it's cringe to know that each pack has four ultras and you you're not you're getting one per box and then not even not even one per box it's crazy so seven cases is a lot of packs a lot of boxes we also see uh yu -Gi -Oh! illuminati reporting on this they don't have widow anchor included in here or several of them but 
it is interesting that across the board you're seeing these ratios come out these polls come out and it's it's weird to just think about you know the average side set the first battles of legend where you were guaranteed almost everything in a box and here we are with two per case Boral swords now like i said he did send me pictures and in his very first case he didn't have a Boral sword imagine paying you know, $720, $60 per box, and not seeing a single of the chase card of the entire set, the selling point. If you ordered a case of this with your friends, it, it's a yikes. Uh, go with Simo, buy the singles. Like, this is why you buy the singles. If it was a fair and open market and world of pulls, yeah, it would be great, <laughs> two Boral Swords in a case. I would be buying singles from the vendors, and that's not just for me being sponsored in terms of, hey, you can click my link and go to TCG Player and help me out. This is, right now, cheaper on eBay, which I get nothing for. I would consider having a Boral Sword sooner than later with how this might turn out. Now, again, Boral Sword is potentially in the Mega Tens. Potentially. They could just double reprint it, but they've shown from chase cards in their past Battles of Legend that they just can kind of skip over things being in the tens as a double reprint, and they're trying to now get all the reprints between Battles of Legends and the tens. But it has potential. That is the one thing to be aware of here. Now, the original cards to the set, again, all Mirage has spiked up on eBay. You could have got these for $8 early on. People make fun of pre-sales, all Mirage was highly underestimated upon its very first look on the market, and now that we know it's short printed on top, as well as a card that people will want for the metagame, that has a lot of people scratching their heads as well. Black Luster Soldier, the link, we see a ton of people watching the one from Canada, and then $16, $16 after people seeing the ratios come out. Cyframe Lord Lambda, now towards $15 on eBay. Uh, do I not have it put in properly? Let's see here. Battles of Legend, Heroes Revenge, EN051. I just want to make sure I have the lowest possible prices here when we're looking at things. So the lowest price is, again, from Canada towards 12, and then we do see 15. And then Sarah, not a lot of people paying too much attention towards her. I think this is actually an amazing link. I was telling people when people had them listed towards 2.5 to pick them up. It's not even doubled with the Can Canadian listing. Somebody's really going in from Canada uh, selling pre-sales with pretty good feedback. So, looks like you will get your cards uh, if you are ordering from them, I would hope. And then we see towards $5, including Ideal 808 now coming in here with some prices, I see. That's another household name. But when going through TCG Player... Yeah, it's pretty crazy. All Mirage is meeting prices as well. The BLS link towards 16. Lambda even higher than eBay towards 20. I never really suggest shopping pre-sales on TCG Player, but this was one of the first times since it was released in the dead of off season that initially we saw low prices, competitive prices. And now on the shorter printed cards, they've really spiked up. Before I've done this video, I might add, weird, my most controversial segment, John spiking prices. No, the thing is, when everybody has the information in their hands, then people decide what to do with it. And it's weird how the market seems to work the same without my input ahead of time. Weird how that works. Max has actually been going down despite being shorter printed, which is an interesting thing to note. And I think Cyberstein's just completely crashing in terms of its pricing now that people are seeing that it's not short. Where, where did Cyberstein go? Ah, look at that. $2.28. Feels good, man. Remember when they were trying to list these at seven to eight dollars nice ultra rare foolish burials it is not the altar art i was wrong on this so it is not a lost art it's just a foil upgrade but a much needed one is the super rares were just ridiculously priced at two dollars and sixty cents this is one of those ones that i think will be good to hold on over time while it's initially going to fall out it's going to be easy to pull as an ultra rare i can see in the future you know, with how many decks in the playing Foolish Burial and the way it revolves back into the metagame over and over, it'll be a good card just to have and keep in a binder. I bet it'll bottom out even towards a dollar. People will just want their money back towards their packs and want to get sales. Summon Limit here at 278. This is a little eyebrow raising as such a meta card. I might think about getting these sooner than later. 
But yeah, this is just how the set is starting to turn out, and then it quickly goes down from there, even on TCG player. Let me know what you guys are excited for. And I did see a Vision Hero on the front page over here in terms of pricing. I wonder how the Vision Heroes in general are doing. It's sold out at 756 over here as well. People are really hyped about the Vision Heroes since we have evil heroes on the horizon as well. So this is kind of our look, our locked in look at how pre-sales went for this set before it hits the market and we can kind of look back on this in a month or two. One of the first times, or no, the first time ever, Battles of Legend is being released in the dead of off season. So the competitive market is kind of shut down. We'll really see how prices fall up and then ramp up as we go into the competitive season with a ton of YC yeses and events listed right now thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the general conversation and having this information presented to you let me know what you think of everything going on with the market before this has even come out and i really do appreciate you guys watching using my link if you guys have been using my link if we get up to a certain amount of you guys using it i'm gonna start to do completely free giveaways out of my own pocket thanks to you guys supporting the channel through those means so again please use my tcg player link when shopping tcg player it costs you nothing and does directly support the channel thank you everybody